Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up some random basketball cards that we bought from Goodwill. Actually, this is back in the summer of 2020. We were up north in the UP in northern Michigan, and uh, we came into this Goodwill, and there were, I don't know, six, eight bags of these random basketball cards. They were about 10 bucks a bag, as you can see here in the back. Um, $9.99. So we don't know what's in these. As you can see, they're still sealed, at least with a staple. Um, so we're going to open these up on the channel and go through them. We're not the most knowledgeable of this era of basketball, but um, you know we will try our best. If you see something that we missed, definitely let us know in the comments below. Uh, 90s era basketball stuff has shot way up in price, and the demand is, is pretty high. So it's kind of fun to open these up for 10 bucks a bag. Yeah, so see, you know, what we end up with. I think there's mostly 90s hoops, it looks like. Maybe some clear stuff as well, but we'll pull this stuff out and look through it. You never know. You could find something really, really cool. But even just like the, uh, you know, late 90s Kobe cards, the Shaq cards, yeah. the Michael Jordan cards, all that stuff is... Um, worth yeah, something. And so. any of the rookie cards, even of, you know, so I know the hoops and stuff don't sell for as much as the chrome or, you know, whatever. But hey, still, if you can get pull some of the good rookies, that's always a huge bonus. And, you know, you never know. Maybe you'll find a rare insert in something like this for 10 bucks. Especially for $10. To beat. I would guess that there's about four to 500 cards each bag. Yeah. So, you know, you're paying yeah. roughly. Well, they yeah. didn't come out to like half a cent a card or something. Yeah, you're right. You're getting yeah at least that, maybe eight hundred cards. Yes, yeah, so you're paying like a hundred, a penny a card essentially. So we will take a look here. So pretty fun to stumble across that. I mean, that have you seen cards in Goodwill? Not very since often. Then? No. Yeah. And I frequent Goodwill, so. Uh, this is, people are going to make fun of us for looking, but 91 or 92, 93 hoops it appears. Or upper deck, sorry. 92, 93 upper deck. So, Stacy King, Bernard King, Larry Johnson, John Williams. These cards are nice. Del Curry. These upper deck mm. ones, they're cool. Yeah, they are. They're, they're a nice look to them. They have a nice look Color to them. Color really pops. They're in actually surprisingly good shape. For, for being in a bag. Being yeah. in a bag, and who knows where they were before that, but. Checklist action. 92, 93. I don't know who is in 92, 93. I know Shaq is right around here. I don't know if he's 93, 94, 92, 93. There's a. Oh, that's Moses Malone. Oakley. That's cool. Obviously not his rookie, but a cool looking card. David Wingate. Steve there he Kerr. is, Steve Kerr. I'm assuming later on, because he's with... Or is that early on? That's early on. Yeah, I was going to say it's early, because he's with... That was the last dance was... Yeah, he was that... The right, end. last dance. So yeah, he was on the Bulls towards the end. Yep. Glass. <clears throat> Reed, Ed, Neely. So I watched a lot of basketball in this era, so all these guys are very familiar John to me. John Stockton. But as far as collecting basketball cards back in the day, not a big thing. That was not... Uh, there's Reggie. That's a nice one. It's cool. I don't think that's his rookie. Nope. He's, I think his rookie might be in 86, 87. Yeah, he too. played for a while. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know. There's Patrick a Ewing. Patrick Ewing. Definitely not his rookie. Sean Elliott. Clyde Drexler. Pooh. Charles Barkley. Ellie, Monroe, Tim Perry, NBA draft card checklist. Let's look at the back here. This might tell us something. What year is that? Same year? Same year, yeah. And Alonzo Mourning. It's pretty solid. Yeah, let me see that. I don't see anyone else that I recognize, by, uh, at least not like, you know, super big. Big, big names. That was 92. Clear Ultra. Yeah, Leitner was obviously a big name, but he just had an average career. Robert Ory, definitely a big, uh, big name. He had a um, really good career, especially later on with the uh, Rockets and won a lot of championships, hit a lot of bunch of clutch shots with them. NBA draft picks from 92-93 as well. Clarence Weatherspoon, 
but not a big rookie class overall. No, nope, not a, not a lot of you know big yeah. huge names like um, obviously LeBron, Michael Jordan. You know, no, no names like that or Steph Curry in, in that particular draft. Uh, Don McLean, Lee Mayberry, Corey Williams, Sean Rooks, Todd Day, and Horace Grant, John Paxson, Kendall Gill, Michael Adams. I'm not going to read all of these. It is kind of fun to look at. This, this is Mailman, Carl Malone. This is the uh, era that we did not, like, we just don't have much stuff from the 90s, so it is kind of cool to get some of this stuff. Yeah, it is cool. And, you know, it'd be interesting to, I mean, I know they made tons of this stuff, but, you know, how much of it is still around? How much of it's in good shape? Like, these cards actually appear to be in decent shape. Yeah, these so. aren't bad at all. Um, yeah, comment below if you guys have found cards at, like, a Salvation Army Goodwill. So uh, and if so, what kind of condition were they in? And, you know, did you pick them up? Were they basketball, baseball, football? I'd love to hear just, you know, your ex about your experience of what you found. Joe Dumars. Um, there's Monte Bowl. Manute. Manute Bowl, sorry. Manute Bowl. I read it wrong. It's all right. But I know... Uh, Bull Bull. Bull Bull, John Starks. Yeah, Manute Bull was quite the uh, talk of the town. He's a big guy. There's Christian Leitner. What year is that? Is that his rookie? This is rookie. NBA draft. Yeah, so there's a Christian Leitner rookie card. That's cool. He, of course, was the guy that everybody loved to hate. Played for Duke with Bobby Hurley and kind of that bad boy white guy. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, and he's just real cocky, real cocky guy. Walter Bond, these are cool. I like these, the Fleer Ultra too. Those are pretty cool. So let's see, it even tells you which ones are the rookies, which is sweet. Mark Jackson, John Williams, Randy Woods rookie, Alex Blackwell, Anthony Peeler. That was back in the days when the the Lakers were not all that great actually yeah did they really do did, did they win a lot before they had kobe like oh yeah they won no well tons, obviously no yeah. no before but i'm saying like in the 90s before they had kobe well they... yeah they did in the early 90s when late 80s early 90s i mean they were awesome they had yeah. magic kareem el dujabar james worthy it's like this is um, pretty early 90s this is 92 yeah so they would have been that this is yeah this Right around the 90s when they started, the early 90s, the Pistons started taking over. And, and then it was right the Bulls. Joe yep. Dumars, Bill Lambeer, and Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, there you go. Some good good cards right there. I love those guys. Big Bad Boys fan. So these look like they, are they in like team order? It kind of looks like it. Somewhat, yeah. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they Golden are. State Warriors now. Now the like Houston Rockets. Yep, they are. That's cool. Kenny Smith, Pacers. So somebody must have had these, you know, in some kind of a box or something. And, yeah. Ant, Ron Harper, Mark Jackson. So far, I don't think we've discovered any, you know, hidden, hidden gems. gems. But, hey, who knows? Glenn Rice. The Hawks yeah. were fun to watch cool. back Dominique then. Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins, Kevin Willis. They had Spud Webb on their team. Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Muggsy Bogues. Yeah, the Hornets were fun, too. Kendall Gill and uh, Larry Johnson, Muggsy Bogues, Alonzo Mourning. Uh, that was a fun team to watch. Actually, that was a really fun team to play with on um, before NBA 2K became popular. It was 50-point club. It was the uh, EA version um, of basketball. That was pretty fun. It's cool, 92, 93 tops. Those are nice. I like the tops cards. Yeah, tops cards are pretty sought after. Gary, Gary Payton, yeah, those are, I think, the most yep. in general, besides, like, Fleer and stuff, obviously, because of MJ. But um, this is back to that upper deck, so we'll go fairly quickly through here because we've already seen a lot of this. I can't believe how good of condition these yeah, cards no, are. Yeah, for I mean, being in a bag, you know. They they may not get uh, tens or anything, but they're definitely Some of them might. yeah, they're definitely in decent shape. And the centering on just a quick glance doesn't look like it's really bad. Like that one's pretty bad, but yeah, but not 
They're for that yet. era, that era was like. Yeah, some of the '90s cards aren't all that bad centering wise, but it is more iffy. I mean, even now, like Prism, you'd think that oh, they'd yeah. have it down a little bit more, but sometimes I almost wonder if they do that kind of stuff on purpose just because of how... And it almost appears that way because it looks like some of them are so badly cut. You're like, how could that even be? Yeah, how does it even get past them? When but... you have, like, machines that have lasers yeah, to that, guide like, them can that can cut, cut them, the stuff. you know? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Jackson, Bangley. It would be fun to go see a production line of, you know, how they make would the be cards. Cool. And I know, I know I've, I've heard people talk about it, and it's pretty interesting. Dennis Rodman. That's cool. Yep, the worm, Dennis Rodman. Scott, Scott Brooks. Uh, yeah, Rodman was a legend with the Pistons, and of course got even more publicity when he's on the Bulls, but... So the Pistons, he was pretty, uh, pretty rough guy. I mean, he he was a very raw talent that developed. Um, some more upper deck. Those are cool. The dual cards. Some all star cards from upper deck. Looks like whoever had these had them kind of organized. Yeah, nicely. you wonder if it's somebody's mom that just said, okay. Johnny's not coming back uh, anytime soon to live in the house, so let's uh, give him the goodwill. The typical story, you know. An interesting one that's from the upper deck set with uh, LeBron in it. Oh three, oh four, Shane Battier. Upper deck. Eddie Curry, Skybox edition. Those are cool. Another oh three, oh four card set uh, is. Those are a nice looking A bright cards. prospect that there's some 0304 yeah, in here. Yeah, it could be something hidden in here. Now, what are these? These are. NBA hoops. These early. are 90. I was going to say, these are early on. Some tops. 92 draft pick. There's a, a Latiner rookie. Isaiah Thomas, USA team. First round draft pick. Those are cool. I like the USA team ones. Some <laughs> yeah. More tops. There may be some uh, little bit of value to some of those is because the USA I looked teams and are... Some of that stuff isn't... You'd think it would be more more so that way because yeah, those teams were so popular. But, but the amount of production it yeah, probably exactly. just kills it. Rick Mahorn. Dougherty. <laughs> Chapman. Chapman had a pretty sweet dunk competition one year. Gerald Wilkins, Maurice Cheeks. That's a cool name. Yeah, he played with uh, Moses Malone and Dr. J, I believe. NBA GM session. Those are cool. Those are pretty sweet cards. I yeah, like those. those are those are sweet. No Jordans at all. Which no, isn't they may surprising. they may have been all taken out of here, which is probably the case. If I was a mom looking through my kids' stuff, I would take all the Jordans out because I'd be the only player I would know. It was well, an Alonzo Mourning rookie. Well, Johnny probably had them all in his binder. It could be. He, yeah, she didn't give away the binder. Wait, go back. Was that Robert Horry? Go back. One more. Two more. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a Matumbo. Huh? That's pretty sweet. Keem. Keem. Yeah, That's Sean cool. Kemp. That these are sweet. Awesome. I like yeah, these those pictures. Are, those are awesome looking. Kind of fun to go down. This is like going down memory lane for me watching basketball as a kid. These uh, these guys. I like that picture too. Black. Yeah. Very different era of basketball when people actually played defense. And the three-point was nothing like it is today you watch some of these guys the way they shoot though now and like some of these jump shooters and like how dead on most of these guys are and just kind of the shots they take too yeah it's a lot different oh yeah the whole right it's it's way different i mean like the big men back then were something you know you had low post game and uh yeah just a very different style of basketball and way more rugged. Like yes. I mean, now it's like <laughs> can't touch anybody. Then it was like there were fights all the time. These guys were just pummeling each other. 
some more of these. Is that Giannis? Nope, it's not. No, that'd be a little before Giannis's time, yeah. That'd be a pretty cool one day to walk into a Goodwill and see a bunch of others. Uh, another Christian Leitner. The the Bucks were horrible back in the day. I mean, yeah. they had Ray Allen um, for a while that later on in, but they were never all that uh, competitive. Morris. These are cool though. I like the. Uh, they did a good job with the pictures on these sets. It's pretty well. Yeah, they definitely did. Um, that's a cool card. Is Back. that the mailman? That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I like that. Yeah, like U.S. mail top. That is actually a really sweet looking card. The mailman says on the side. Well, yeah, see that cool. thing. What it? That's part of that same set. No, this is 93. That is what the other stuff is, yeah. too. 93. It's the same set. Oh, I thought it was 92. It is. 92, 93. Yeah. This is on the top. 92, 93 upper deck. On the front. The upper deck symbol. Oh, yeah. I see it now. Yep. There's another <clears> one. <throat> Those are cool. Let's say the, the warrior. Um, NBA Top Prospects. What's this from? NBA Top Prospects. From 1993. Let's see if there's anyone good. Tracy Murray. Lloyd Daniels. Mark Aguirre. Game Faces. Clyde. It's not a very... Clyde the Glide, yeah. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. These aren't as nice John as John Starks. Yeah, there's, there's another Christian Leitner. Some of the 03, 04 cards. How about a nice LeBron rookie? That'd be pretty cool. Well, that was a cab there, but. Those are nice looking cards. The upper deck ones? Yeah, Mike Bibby. Yeah, Mike Bibby. Nene, Juan Dixon, and Jalen Rose. So, no LeBron, but no, uh, what's his face either? Because uh, Mello and. I think D. Wade's in that rookie class, too, isn't he? Um, I think so. Hey, could be. All right, let's get into the second one. I know it's longer, a little longer video. We'll go a little faster here. Maybe we won't do this whole bag, but we'll get a few of these out here. This will, should be some different stuff here. So once again, if you find something or you see something that we totally miss and, uh, you know, we should have seen let us know but I know in uh, you know obviously you're looking for Jordans uh, in the stuff but there are a bunch of other players I don't know how much some of these other players have increased in value so far I haven't seen any big names out of the stuff I'm opening here as to my knowledge it's mostly just the you know top 10 to 12 guys that have really Right, right. All the big, you know, from whatever era you're talking about that have really gone up. Yeah, boy, and these are, there's a Roy Tarpley. He was good. Uh, but a lot of these guys are definitely not Rod Strickland, Michael Cage. Uh, let's see. Definitely not the big guys of, I mean, maybe at, of their time they were decent, but not the household names that yeah. we're looking for. AJ English. Bernard King, he was good. Uh, he would have been a lot older there. There's Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Sam Bowie, Derek Coleman, Dennis Scott. So then, now you get into some. There's uh, Scotty Skiles, some of the uh, better players of that era. There's a Clyde Drexler, Supreme Court. So. My guess is whoever had these took all the good cards out. But, hey, maybe some of these are, you know, going up in value. We bought it just to see if there would be any kind of inserts or, like, even cards like this. I mean, are these things, like, a dime a dozen? Um, you know, obviously they're – oh, that's a pretty – that's a sweet photograph. I like that one. That is cool. Otis Thorpe. That's cool. They did do a really nice job on the, th the photography on some of this stuff. Yeah, or the artwork. -ish. Yeah. So, is that Worthy? Yeah, it's James Worthy there. 
Who is that? Oh, Sherman Douglas. Um, this is kind of like a guessing game. Who is that? Derek Coleman. Yep. All right. Uh, that's Gerald Wilkins. Yep. Scotty Skiles. Who be that? Oh, Manute Bull. That's cool. Those are sweet. I like the art. Yeah. Interesting. Sean Elliott. I've never quite seen anything like that from that era, which is no, cool. uh, yeah, those are cool. You know, most of the stuff back then was pretty. Until you get to like the more mid and like finest and stuff was coming out, pretty standard stuff. All right, let's go through a few more here. Uh, so, anyways, hit that um, thumbs up button if you like this video. If you want to see more of these, we have more of these bags. So, <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, there's Joe Dumars. That's a nice one. It'll probably just open up hat a little bit more of this next yeah. time since it's getting a little long. We will, yeah, we will do. If you want to see more, if you kind of like this, then, you know, let it's us just know. Just a random, you know. Is this all we're going to do from now on? Absolutely yes. No, just kidding. We right, are we not can't, going to do this very often. Can so. you afford to buy $2 million boxes of basketball cards? No. So, um, Do the next best thing. The next best thing. Buy them from Goodwill. Oh, there it is. Spud Webb. If you haven't ever seen the dunk contest with Spud Webb, go on YouTube and watch yeah, it's it. Worth a watch. There's Dominique Wilkins. He was also in that. Um, it was pretty amazing. Another dunker right there, D Brown. Uh, all right, so some of the older cards again. We got Sedale three. There he is, Moses Malone, playing for the Hawks. Of course, there's Rick Edelman. Um, oh, these are all coach cards. Dick Versace. Uh, Moses Malone, of course, is best known for his days as Kiki Vanderway uh, with the 76ers and playing alongside of Dr. J. Otis Smith, Todd Murphy. And we're going to just grab a couple more of these here, and then we will call it a day. So, Another new set. What set's this? I'm not sure. Uh -uh. A little older. These are the names are all on the written on the side. Very small. And be six ninety seven upper deck. Jalen Rose, Rick Smith. I don't know who's in that. Pooh Richardson. Gotta love Pooh. Um, Poor kid. Probably got bullied as a kid for that name. Yeah, these are very um, interesting cards. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of them, but. All right, I see one down here. I got to just see if it's what I think it could be. All right, so here's the last card. Mark Jackson. Is it the Mark Jackson? Oh. No, it's the All-Star game. I don't even think that's the right year. I think it has to be like a silvery border to it. I'm yeah, it sure. could be. Yep. I don't know. We're talking about the card with the murderers yeah, in the Yeah, right. The, was it Menendez Brothers or whatever sitting yeah. in the background? All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. A little different video. Um, here's the stack of cards that we went through and right there. So I think these may be some of my favorite cards. Those are cool. They kind of look like Marvel they um, well, cards. That's what I thought they were at first. I'm definitely putting them. these in top loaders and hanging on to them just because I like them. I don't know if they have any value, but they're pretty sweet. All right. Oh, and these. These are my second favorite. I like these um, art cards. So, All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that thumbs up button. And let us know what you think. Um, you know, Have you found these in a Goodwill or at a, some kind of thrift store? And if so, did you pick them up? What What did you get? Did you pull any you know hidden gems out of there? Uh, and also, have fun watching basketball. There have been a lot of good games on recently. We've been enjoying the NBA season this year. Fun to watch these young guys play. All right, well, take care, guys. Hit the thumbs up button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and we will see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.